Hello and welcome to Library Salad. Today's episode is Summer Survival Kit, brought to you by the Monroeville Public Library in Pennsylvania. Hi, I'm Allison. Yes, summer is almost here, coming this weekend. So we're going to be talking about different survival tips. Everything from even at your own house to if you're going away for a weekend or a day trip to let's say you're going away for longer than that. There's always something that can make your life a lot easier. Um, we're going to go over some basic essentials first, then deeper dive. And basically nowadays, if you don't say the uh, phrase deeper dive, you know, a couple times a week, you're just not hip and happening. So that's why I just threw that in there. Okay, so... You must not be hip and happening. Apparently not, but don't say that. No, really, no. Anyway, so... You may have tuned in a couple of weeks ago when we were starting to plant herbs. This is the pot that I showed you that I was going to plant. These are coming along fabulous, basil and parsley's in front. So I hope if you decided to plant your herbs already that yours are doing as well as this. So let's go into some basics. Hat. Doesn't have to be this big because for some reason when I wear this, the family starts laughing. I don't know what's up with that. But no, nothing to do with the hat. Nothing to do with the hat. But simple baseball cap or something like that really is very good at guarding your face and keeping you a little bit cooler. Another thing, this is important. Sunscreen is important for everybody, even believe it or not, in cloudy weather. Again with the family. They don't believe me. You can get a sunburn on a, there goes the phone, on a actual cloudy day. It is true. Another fun fact about sunscreen, let's say you're going fishing. A lot of people like to fish at this time of year. If you put the sunscreen on your hands, you have your little worm, put it on the hook. When it goes into the water, the fish smell the scent of the sunscreen and want nothing to do with that hook. Even if you happen to wash your hands, just your hands, um, after you put on the sunscreen, the smell of the detergent is still going to be on there. So if you've been fishing and haven't caught a lot of fish, let's blame it on the sunscreen. Another simple fact. When you go out, I think everybody says that, you know, having those, uh, the wet wipes is excellent. You never know, for some reason, ice cream and chocolate melt. Go figure. But those uh, wipes, great. Back in the day, I remember my mother used to carry a wet washcloth. This is before the wet wipes in a little bag. She didn't even have the zip block back then, you know, the little twist on things. Um, and we've made progress, people, but that's always something good to have. Water. Stay hydrated. It's cheaper if you bring water than have to stop for something else. Unless you want to look that's up to you, but I'm just giving you the basics. And a simple travel kit. You can use anything you want. I happened to get this at a uh, expo a long time ago. Um, a little safety kit, a little first aid kit. So if you put a couple of band-aids in there, um, some little uh, disinfectant, um, things happen. So I think be happy that you have that. Sunglasses. Always important. I find I need it even on a cloudy day. Tend to squint. That's me again with the hat. But so when you go, I knew the boy was waiting for the second thing. Okay, the important thing is that if you go away, especially for a couple of days, what's going to happen? You're going to either lose or something's going to break on your glasses. That's a frequent thing that happens. May I recommend a bringing a second pair or they actually sell the little screws at the uh, pharmacy. They actually sell the little screws that can go in here in case this breaks off. You may say to yourself, I've had my sunglasses for years. It's never happened. That's because the sunglasses are waiting until you're on vacation to actually break. True story. What else have we got? Even, up, <laughs> even at home, there are a lot of uh, helpful things. Uh, Survival is really a matter of each person's, you know, idea of what is survival, but barbecue, this reminds me to mention barbecue, propane tanks, you use the propane tanks, 
and you're having a number of people over, it's an important thing. Have your extra tank of propane. It's really easy if you're doing a lot of grilling to halfway through or something like that, realize you're out of propane. Any getting on on that one, Richard? No. No. All right. But he did say to me, you want, may want to say that. The most important thing in summer. That's, yeah, there you go. Time. Everyone's got their own top three list. Mm. Or charcoal. Or charcoal. Make sure Let's you have charcoal if you don't need Yes. Propane. Yes. Okay, so muffin tins. I only have the small muffin tins. When I need the big muffin tins, which is rare, I borrow them. But pretend these are larger cups. Okay. Condiments. Instead of having all the different bottles all over the place, what you can simply do, larger cups, remember, is put different condiments, your ketchup, things like that, in the different ones. Put a little spoon in. You can also instead, let's say you're just using little packages. You can put the packages in those also. There's also, you can put a tray underneath it, some ice around it, stays cool. Hack on the beach is that if you have the sand and you've got a Beverage, a lot of times it sort of tilts over, right? With the big cups, a lot of the beverage containers will sit nicely so you have less spillage. All right. Also, good. cup holders nowadays, you know. This is something for everybody. Okay. Not everybody's got a cup holder. Try to just engage the masses here, okay? All right. So, when you've got all that sand on you, okay? You may rub it off with a towel, still doesn't come off. You want to get into the car. What do you use? Baby powder. I've heard from a number of people, especially with kids, how handy that baby powder is to just rub over the sand on your body and it comes right off and you smell really nice too. Extra bonus. Just on, don't go fishing afterwards. Don't go fishing. See, that's probably true. Probably true. Um, also, you may go out to a local festival, um, amusement park. Some of the local places don't accept credit cards. Occasionally it happens. I've heard recently that the, um, some friends have gone out and they're so used to paying everything with a credit card that they didn't have cash. Put a couple of extra bucks. It's just a dollar. It's what I have people. I would recommend more. You than pass a good garage book. sale. Or you pass a good garage sale, right? Well, I'm sure some of them now take cards, but in general, there's a couple of things, some even things off the road that, you know, maybe picking up some peaches at a farm set. Make sure you carry a little bit of cash with you. That would be helpful. So at home, again, not always going out, but at home, we've, we've been in this area having a lot of storms. When you think storms on the TV station, the weather person always says there could be power outages. Two things you can do with that. When you hear that, plug in your phones for recharging because you could be out of power. You never know for a significant amount of time. Don't want to be without the phones, so get those plugged in. And let's say you're not, power goes out, you're not actually in the same room with your phone. Doesn't happen often, but occasionally it does. Make sure you have the old handy dandy flashlight which means this is a good time to say, do I have batteries in it? Is the battery still working? Because times like that, you'll need a little extra power around. And let's say you're traveling with a pet. Hold on. Let's say you're traveling with a pet. You have for a while, these hot days, the animals really need water as much as you do. So, they actually make, see this, this isn't really what I'm, this is just getting me to the next part of this is, they make collapsible dog dishes. So you can carry that with you either on vacation or even if you're just going out for a long walk so that you'll be able to make sure that the pets are hydrated. My friend Chris recently told me that one thing that she does is when she goes away and uh, she takes the dog, what she do? She brings some extra rope with her, not heavy rope, but enough so that if the leash breaks, which it did with her, she's got the ability to have the rope that will tie into the collar. It's not going to be a collar, but it's going to tie into the collar. So you simply take the rope, you fold it in half, and then loop it around 
you've got the actual uh, replacement there. It's almost like the sunglasses. You don't think anything's going to happen, but if you just take a little extra, you know, couple of small things, it'll really help certain kinds of situations. So, oh, one last thing. Water parks, cell phones. A lot of water parks do have Lockers? Lockers, that's right. They have lockers, and that's great if you're going to put your stuff, you want to put your stuff in there. Not every place do you have the availability for lockers. You also, uh, some cell phones are water resistant, keyword resistant, and not all cell phones can even be get wet for a while. So if you're going to a water park or anything like that, you may want to bring a Ziploc with you so that nothing happens to it. That was a helpful hint from my daughter because they love the water parks. So we've covered summer tips, both in the home, backyard, day trips, longer trips, things that can, I hope, will make your summer a lot easier. See you again in two weeks.